is the back of Mussolini's palace that he had built on top of their old Roman forum. Here we have across the busy road Trajan's forum. You can see it was a very large complex dedicated to commemorate his victory after a triumph against the Dacians. And many of these structures are still in place today. And there goes our helicopter buddy. To apologize. Here we have the Forum of Augustus and the Temple of Mars. spectators 
would sit so it must have been very colorful and today the floor of the Colosseum is gone and you can see the chambers underneath and this is what it looks like today just scrap all of the beautiful marble taken away carried away to build other things. And now we come to the Palatine Hill. This is a big area for chariots. And again the statues on the colonnade. What does this look like today? You'll be very surprised. There we are. So many times the only thing remaining that is characteristic are the way the bricks are set together. Also they've just found bits of columns and lined them up. They would have been on both levels. But over the centuries bits and pieces were carried off and only this was left. our map. So we have the Colosseum down there and the Via Sacra where the men would enter in triumph in the general with all of their processions and the forums and the temples and there's Trajan's one there, Trajan's markets and Trajan's forum that we looked at. have another closer look at the farm. And this is looking towards the south, towards the Colosseum there, the temple there, and the Victory Arch. One there, and one here. still see the Via Sacra and you can still walk along it. You can still see the inscriptions of these great monuments that were erected and why they were put there. For people whose lives are long forgotten. This is the Basilica of Maxine. of them are 
are carried off and bits of them stay
was rebuilt by Hadrian in 118 AD after having been completely destroyed by fire. your relaxation.